there are a couple of people that I do consider to know Islam like the back of their hands. And they may not be liked by the Muslims, but the Assyrian Encyclopedia, Sam Shamoon, knows Islam. He knows his sources. And that's a, you, you Muslims, you don't like Sam, but you know why you don't like Sam? Yeah, sometimes Sam's in your face. He's more in your face than I am. There's no question about it. Assyrians and Scotsmen do not debate in the same way. But I love Sam. And Sam and I butt heads. We butted heads recently. We really did. But we still love each other. Uh, besides, despite the fact that I don't always agree with how he says things. And I hope I have been somewhat of moderating influence on him. But there is nobody who knows the sources like Sam Shamoon, and that's why you don't like him. Those who know Arabic, and Brother Joseph can confirm, the word Shems for son is feminine. Now this is a patriarchal society, meaning they believe in the male deity as the head god, not the female deity. Well, if Shems is the female deity, and she's the consort of Qamar, which is masculine, the moon, that means the moon is the high god, therefore... This suggests that the pagans were calling the moon Allah, because that was their high god. And believe the moon represented Allah, their god, which explains the fascination with the moon symbol. So by process of elimination, Allah must have referred to the moon god, because he would have been the male deity in this pantheon of planetary gods. A ton of it. And this other one also might be a, a bit off, but uh, there's a story that says that Muhammad said that Allah was the same as Asherah, the moon goddess, and is the same goddess, and that's why they use the crescent moon. As yeah, well. well, there is there 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 are Christian apologists who have promoted the idea that Allah is the moon god. Um, I I don't find any uh, any solid foundation for that. I've heard it debated a number of times, and in my opinion, it's always lost that particular debate. Uh, Muhammad certainly never made any statement along those lines. Uh, uh, certainly not in any of the recognized sources. Uh, you'd have to really stretch things for that. So uh, there, there's no reason to go that direction. Well, the transition's just found in this. I, I see direct connections between Bernie Sanders' attitude and the attitude that has been expressed toward me. Last evening, uh, a fellow came into channel, and he says, uh, so does, does Sam Shamoon write about anything other than uh, hating you? And I'm like, what now? Because back on June 1st, uh, Mr. Shamoon had posted an article on Facebook. I had chosen not to say anything about it. Mr. Shamoon's articles get, you know, a uh, half dozen, dozen notes, uh, you know, people saying they like it or something like that. So just, you know, uh, leave it alone. But in it, he had uh, again uh, attacked me. It, 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 the, the gentleman is, is posting just, you know, Stephen Anderson videos and just all sorts of wild-eyed, strange stuff, and it's just all over the board. His, his theology's been changing, and he's been embracing this and that, and it, just just all over the planet. And he, in this article, uh, accused me of being demonized. So let's, let's be very clear. Sam Shemud is now saying, I am not a Christian. Uh, I'm an unbeliever, false teacher, demonized. I, I mean, we're, we're talking all out, uh, you know, just complete... Uh, a condemnation from his perspective. So, so I don't want to hear anybody saying, "Well, you shouldn't talk about Sam." Look, if the man's gonna, the man's been on my program before. I have said he has said wonderful things about me in the past, and vice versa. But something changed, and it wasn't me. And everybody who watches this program and listens to this program knows it wasn't me. Uh, nothing. I didn't do anything different uh, starting in November of last year when when Sam Shamoon started started to attack me. Actually, December I think, but November is when he went silent. And December is when he started moving to, to attack me. Um, I haven't changed. Uh, he likes to point to the Ostracati stuff. That was well after that. He was attacking me well before that. That was just a, a convenient excuse on his part. We've had him on the program. And I just simply have to make the official statement in light of what he's now doing. And the fact that he's now behind this most recent attack upon me. Um, we, just, we just simply have to warn people. Uh, we have once in the past said, here's a great source of information. We cannot say it anymore. We have to warn you off. 
um, churches that that recognize uh, the need to to control uh, who you have coming into your 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 sanctuary to to give you information. Um, you just gotta you just gotta recognize uh, that is no longer a reliable source in any way, shape, or form. In that case, from the United States. Allah must have referred to the moon god because he would have been the male deity in this pantheon of planetary gods. I might as well sit here and say Allah is the moon god. It's just, just as bad an argument. It's just as fallacious. It's just as ridiculous to any serious-minded person. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلُ وَالنَّهَارُ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ لَا تَسْجُدُوا لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمَرِ وَاسْجُدُوا لِلَّهِ وَاسْجُدُوا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, 